Finding the vibes, finding the vibes. When we breathe in, when we breathe in, that is God coming within us. And when we breathe out, it is the God concept leaving to join the world around us. because 
The word comes out through a puff of breath, but it is engendered and born in the brain. We have to be careful what we say, because once you say it, you can't pull that word back. Putting focus on the importance of having sound rituals in your life. This importance of rituals is not to be underestimated. There are many advantages of having rituals in your life. The rituals and habits that we establish in life will after a while take over our lives and then we will be controlled by them. The rituals and habits that we establish in life will after a while take over our lives and then we will be controlled by them. That we establish in life will after a while take over our lives and then we will be controlled by them. your circle, logically understanding your circumference, action square my mood, learning from my moods, my routine and pattern and what I do, yeah, you only get what you deserve, shawty, you only get what you deserve, shawty, you only get what you deserve, shawty, you only get what you deserve, shawty. I tell everybody you got to create rituals, right? Life is fucked up at times. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? It's gonna be. It's, it's, it's mentally this bitch can be draining. So you have to create rituals. You know when life gives you too much resistance. And I tell you this: 
Next time you have a happy day, a super fucking amazing day, you need to assess and identify what you did that made your day so fucking amazing. Cause when life gets too heavy, niggas just gotta retreat, go to their happy place, re-up, rejuvenate, and come out and keep fighting, nigga. But you have to fight. You got to get up off your motherfucking ass and you got to fight. So for me, y'all, you know, take my advice. I like candles, I like slow music, I have a whole lot of sex, I do a whole lot of drugs, and I spend a whole lot of time on my chest. <laughs> That's my happy place. So when anything in the world pisses me off, I retreat to those people, to those things, and I come back out swinging the next day. Your thoughts can take you to infinity. Just let me take you to infinity. Let's ride these waves into infinity. Let's have this spaceship to infinity. Your thoughts can take you to infinity. Just let me take you to infinity. Let's have the spaceship Your thoughts can take you to infinity. Just let me take you to infinity. Let's have the spaceship Let's have the spaceship Your thoughts can take you to child do you pick yourself and go for yours i'm gonna help those who help themselves you gonna be sitting there waiting forever i ain't look back since i ain't look back since
the shit that we utilize in order to manifest, but we are manifesting a seed. Now, when you plant a seed, that's an idea or imagination or where you see yourself. Now, when you start to water that seed, that's when you start to add emotions and feelings and intent to it. And you give that seed a direction where that where you want that plant to grow. So for the most part, that's you watering that goddamn seed. is the meaning of rituals with the rituals you can create a spiritual atmosphere we believe everyday rituals are done a spiritual atmosphere is created and this spiritual atmosphere helps that everybody feels at ease that everybody feels spiritual elevated when you do when you do rituals then meditation will come easier spiritual experience will come easier Second, with the rituals, you are also touched in the depth of your heart. Those who take part in the ritual feel the presence of the divine. Rituals enable the practitioner to feel God, to feel Brahma, to experience the divine. And through rituals, we connect, we also connect ourselves with the Sampradaya, with the tradition, with our teaching, teachers. Because these rituals have been done for hundreds and most likely for thousands of years. Stronger than I ever been. Hey, oh, oh, hey. I'ma do what I love every day. I'ma do what I love every day. So, going back to when we talk about something being crystallized, what is something being crystallized? When you think hard and concentrate on something and have true conviction on something. Now, it's so often so many of us have true conviction and we think and ponder on things we have no business standing in that space. When you're in a certain space, you start to think about everything in that space. All the light bulbs, feelings, and emotions in that space. And if you think too hard about it, you make it part of your reality. And if it's a space you're not supposed to be in, you will see places that you don't like, shit that's not in your favor. Talking to the Creator. Meditation is listening. Listen, listen, listen.
Yo, play that Felix joint. Bro went crazy, play that.